All right, first and foremost, give all praise to you. How about Shema Afshar Bakhtam? Sincere greeting to the brothers and sisters scattered across the four corners, teaching this word with sincerity and charity. Brother Phoenix, Prince of Israelites, another short one for you today, man. We're just going to get straight into it, man. This one going, you know, we just staying for the start, getting a little ugly. It's finna start getting a little bloody. Y'all going to be in the comments getting mad at me, but we got to deal with what's going on. We got to deal with what's going on. First Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 2, very infamous, very famous uh, text for, or uh, supporting text for, um, showing that Gentiles is Israelites. All right. First, uh, Corinthians chapter 12 and verse two, it says, ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols. Okay. You know that you were Gentiles. And so we will stop there. You know that you were Gentiles. You're no longer Gentiles. Why are you no longer Gentiles? Because you're no longer dealing with these idols. You dealing with the idols is what made you a Gentile. And we'll reference Hosea, who's not a people, and, and a couple of other texts um, to try to support this in this particular text. But when, again, when we do these things, all I'm dealing with is this text. When I'm going to Jeremiah 14, 2, or, or Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 5, and I'm telling you, you can't use those texts to support that Israel is black. Um, I'm not saying that Israelites are not uh, people of color, that they're not black. I'm just telling you that those two verses uh, don't support that. Okay? Those two verses don't support that, and they'll actually get you tripped up. And like I say, with us, it's not all that we need is to slip up is one or two times. And, you know, they'll have that and try to make, you know, make all kind of uh, videos of that and try to make us and, and, and hurt the movement. Y'all think I'm hurting the movement. Really, I'm trying to strengthen it. This was this what this was sharpening swords are, man. You know what I'm saying? This was this was the iron sharpening. Iron. Are y'all doing that? Do y'all have opposing views? Like, how can iron sharpen iron if y'all having the same views, man? That's just that's just rubbing the, the, the smooth side against the smooth side, man. That's like rubbing two smooth stones together. All right. You ain't finna, you know, you need the friction there. All right. One has to be a little jagged for it to sharpen that other one, man. Just like you sharpen a knife, man. It goes on a brick. You sharpen a, a knife on a, you have a knife brick and you got to sharpen that thing on both sides. It's got to be some kind of um, re resistance on the other side for it to get sharpened. So here's your resistance. Okay. Here's your resistance. Let's see. Let's get sharpened. And this is what this is about. All right, refuting one with Hebrew Israelism, these going over these precepts. This is about sharpening iron, us cleaning up the doctrine and teaching in sincerity and uh in charity, man. And we getting this thing right. Is this what we want to do? Do we want to get it right? Okay, do we want to usher in? Do we want to do we want to do we want this thing? Do we want to get out of this captivity? Do we want to end the blindness of Israel? We got to know what we're supposed to be doing as Israelites. And if we're not doing that, then we're prolonging the captivity. And uh and vice versa. So, um, First Corinthians chapter twelve and verse two it says, "Ye know that ye were Gentiles, and we will stop there and say, hey, yeah, 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 we were Gentiles. Why were we Gentiles? Carried away into dumb idols. That's what made us Gentile. But we really Israelites. But we were carried away uh, unto dumb idols. Okay, we were carried away unto dumb idols. If that's the case, and so at this point we should be able to see that." Um, they know that they, every time we see in Gentiles, we should know that these are Israelites. All right. Paul should not be speaking to these people and calling them Gentiles. Just like if my brother, you know, he, he came out of the world. We were calling him a Jake. He came out of the world and became an Israelite, dropped all these things. I'm not going to call him a Jake no more. I'm not going to call him a byword anymore. I'm not going to call him a Gentile. All right, that's my brother, man. He, he from the tribe of Judah. He from the tribe of Benjamin, man. Benjamite. He give him a Hebrew name. All right, we still ain't going to have him uh, being called a Jake or being called a Negro and so forth. Um, so we should see that in the text. Okay. Uh, we, Paul shouldn't be, if this is a point, and really he, he, he already established this point. He just, he just, he just telling them again, like, hey, man, you were Gentiles. Y'all know y'all ain't, but y'all were Gentiles. Um, but now you're no longer Gentiles. That's what we're trying to prove here. This is what we're saying when we say this, um, we pull this particular verse. But if you go down to verse 13, uh, it says for by one spirit, uh, are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles. And so we still see these Paul that's calling these folks Gentiles that are really Israelites. All right. It should have read more. So if you were Gentiles, why are you still calling me Gentiles? Um, 
are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Ephraim or Jews or Israel? Um, and so that'll be that's something that's very problematic. Let's read it how it's supposed to be read. You know that you were Gentiles carried away unto dumb idols. OK, now what has changed? You have stopped dealing with idols. OK, that has changed. You're no longer dealing with idols. So you still a Gentile. But you're no longer, you were a Gentile that dealt with idols, but now you're no longer a Gentile that deals with idols. You're still a Gentile, just not one that deals with idols. Let's read it in the NLT. You know that you were still pagans. You know that when you were still pagans, you were led astray and swept along in worship and speechless uh, idols. And that kind of just went, you know. Almost somewhere completely different. It's worded a lot different. You know that when you were still pagans, you were led astray, swept along with worship and speechless idols. All right. But you still see the, the problem here is us um, is the paganism. OK, you were you were pagans. Uh, you're no longer pagans, though. OK, so that's that's the whole the attribute of. Of 1 Corinthians 12 2, the only thing that really changed was the fact that they're no longer worshiping idols, but they're still Gentiles. And that's why they continue to be called Gentiles uh, throughout the text. But when we stop and we say, you were Gentiles, see, how were you Gentiles? That's sorcery. That's that's witchcraft. Because now we're using tones and we're using body language to try to manipulate um, someone's reasoning of the text, man. And we got to be careful with that. We got to be careful with that. And it got me. It got me. You know what I'm saying? It sounded good. I teach. I taught it for several years. Uh, you know that you were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols. Wherefore, I give to you to understand that no man speaking by the spirit of God call of Jesus accursed and that no man can say that Jesus is uh, no man can say that Jesus is the Lord, but by the Holy Spirit. And so we, again, we just dealing with the, the context here is dealing with um, is dealing with uh, idolatry and us, you know, what I'm saying uh, not accepting Christ or trying to call Christ a curse. And us dealing with these uh, these other foreign deities. But we can't say that uh, Paul is saying that these folks are no longer Gentiles because they turned away. Um, and then he's continuing to call them Gentiles. We have to agree that that don't make sense. We have to agree that Paul would like you wouldn't call somebody a byword. Um, and you and you understand that's like calling somebody out their name almost. Um, and so, so, so the narrative should change amongst these people that he's speaking to, at least in the ch same chapter. Okay. At least in the same chapter, you should see Paul addressing these folks, not as Gentiles. Uh, he should be addressing them as something else, but we see him still saying that they are Gentiles because they are, they are Gentiles. They just no longer pagans. All right. With that, I say Shalom. Hope this thing was edifying. Um, and again, man, always leave the comments, man. I'm here for the comments. <laughs> I'm here for the comments, but, uh, make sure you watch the whole video that I say Shalom. Uh, be blessed Israel.